Uh, Dave, what's your awesome thing of the week? Yeah, and this is something that was announced a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. And it was actually um, spoiled, if you will, by the president who took a little test drive out on the tarmac. Uh, it's the Ford F-150 electric. They're calling it the lightning model. And this, now admittedly, I know Tesla has their, um, their Cybertruck coming out, but it's kind of a big deal. And I will let you know Sorg, that the video you're playing, it's really long, so you they have little chapters see, at the I bottom. I see what's going on here. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna go back to you. We're gonna. Oh, there yeah. it is. There's the truck. There okay. it is. But the nice thing is, it first of all, it's not overly expensive compared to a gas model. Mm -hmm. And if you're not someone who's used to, you think of pickup trucks as something construction that aren't expensive. No, they're really expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the fact that. It's a Ford that makes a big difference for the larger companies uh, to kind of go back in time. Uh, the old saying, no one got fired for buying an IBM mm -hmm. when it came to computers. No one gets fired for buying a Ford or a Chevy. But if you're, you know, if you're part of a larger company and you're like, oh, we're going to buy for a construction site, these Tesla cyber trucks and something goes wrong, it's going to go on that purchasing person, I think. Mm -hmm. So the fact that Ford's coming out and it in honestly construction people tend not to be adventurous and that's where your volume is. It isn't your individual buying it. It's your large companies buying in mass as part of a fleet. And they know they have Ford behind them and they have a Ford dealer close by and they probably already have a relationship with the Ford dealer. So they already have that gone in. And if now, Mel, I'm not a huge fan of the large computer screens as your dashboard. Mm -hmm. I, I still like to have buttons to hold. But yeah, yeah, it's it's, some it's, of the it's little... like it's too far of I'm a sorry. jump ahead in some cases, right? Yeah, and for me, I know a lot of things can be done by the steering wheel, but I like to be able to reach over without having to look over mm -hmm. when I'm driving. But the fact that some of the little things they added on here. Uh, like the size of the frunk, as they're calling it. <laughs> I saw um, there was a picture. I think it was the Marquise Brownlee one where they're just like hanging. Like they got a guy in the in the back uh, in in the uh, in the truck bed and somebody just hanging out the front the front of it. Mm -hmm. And the fact, first of all, it, it is. I don't know the rest of it, but it did the fact the fact it's power. It's a power lift, mm -hmm. which is nice. And that they even have a little thing there showing two golf um, two bad two golf club bags that you can fit in that front but it's also water resistant so if you wanted to just throw some ice in there and party out the front there it is yeah. so yeah it, that thing is that thing's bigger than most car trunks in the front yeah yeah it is you could you could hide and, a couple of bodies in there oh yeah and, and the fact that you could say and i know they say that you could power if one if it was fully charged you could power your house for a couple of days if you lose power <laughs> But also for if you are a construction site and you wanted to power your tools, no problem. You have you don't have to worry about it's it's right there in the truck. And it, the the you know most people who work construction are not going to drive a couple hundred miles to the construction site. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it has three hundred. And that's 300, as Marquis probably uh, pointed out, it's 300 miles under towing, under um, not towing, but a loaded truck with 300 miles. So that isn't an empty truck. They're assuming that you have a thousand pounds of payload. So if you drive that thing with less, you're going to get a lot more mileage. Yeah, so they're trying, they're trying to be really conservative here, which again, they know their market. You know, if you're going after the construction market, which there is a, cheaper version mm -hmm. you know they have a work version which is cheaper i can see this is you know this is where it's mainstream it's going and this is where you could have a large hunk of electric vehicles being switched i mean a large chunk of gas vehicles being switched to electric because it just works better for what they want and it isn't a matter of quote unquote being electric for electric but it's right 
someone looking at the bottom line and saying, hey, it's a company we know. It's with the dealer we dealt with before. It's a dealership that there's tons of Ford dealerships where lots of places there aren't Tesla dealerships if there's an issue. So it's a company that, hey, we can do work with them. So this could be a big thing where people are like, hey, I'm used to electric now working on my work truck. Maybe I'll start thinking about electric for my home vehicle. No, it, 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 yeah, it's kind of an edge in there. Like I, I, some of the discussions I was mm-hmm. listening to from over the weekend were saying how this is, like you said, targeted more kind of for the work fleet idea uh, uh, is uh, because of complexity. You know, it's it's part Ford. So like the build, like for Ford, it's like, well, they're make, already making most of the parts to build the body of a Ford right. F-150. And now they're just putting in the electric components and all these bells and whistles. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so right. like, you know, if, if anybody's good at supply and demand, it's usually Ford because they they kind of started the whole thing, right? Um, so, and then and then like I said, the the I, I, one thing I thought was interesting, like they they actually have um um they have a uh, uh, it checks the weight of what's in your bed and and it informs that to you too. You know, you talked about the the electric that basically replaces carrying a generator and all that gas with you to an, to a site. And I went, you know, you you, Vince, I went, you know, you, you know, David, I, I go to like they're usually there. Like, there's a lot of it's like a line of F one fifties usually yeah. at these events, except for the one sponsored by GM. Uh, so, um, but uh, yeah, it's it, it's it seems to make a lot of sense for that. This is not for you know. Uh, I'm going to get one for my house unless I like you're the kind of person that just drives an F-150 because. Right. right. Um, but you probably have some use for that, I would hope, if you're doing that. So um, but it, it, it's it'll be interesting. I mean, this is this is uh, I keep wanting to call it mass market, but it, it, it kind of isn't. It's mass market in a way, but it, it's the kind of the first big step into a new a, a, a different mass market with it. Well, I guess yeah, it I wouldn't is. say it wouldn't say it's mass consumer market. No, no. But I would say it not. is definitely mass market. And again, with a lot of people who work in you know the construction business, mm-hmm. they may not be anywhere near a Tesla dealer. I'd love to have a conversation with like but, some, so like like uh, some people that do work in like like construction and that I know like you know, that, that have trucks like this. I'd love to have that conversation with them about like yeah. what they think of something like this for sure. So that's awesome. Um, you know, I'm a general contractor, right? <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I was just letting it go. Just letting it go. I think you surprised oh, me so bumped, much. We lost them. You surprised <laughs> me so much for the first time. I bumped my own mute button. Uh, so, <laughs> Rob, what do you think of something like this? <laughs> Hey, hey, I just hi, know you hi. build cool things. I don't think of I don't think of it that way. But uh-huh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fun. It's actually really interesting to hear you talk about this because the discussion of it within the industry is very different. And also, mm-hmm. um, I live in a place that is, I mean, Pennsylvania is pretty truck centric, um, but the middle of nowhere of Oregon uh, is also super truck centric oh, yeah. and it is far more common i think as coming uh as someone who came from the east coast it's just far more common to like everybody has an f-150 we have a trd off-road tacoma uh i have a fully off-road jeep um and we have a vaguely off-road van uh that we use for um mostly like getting up the mountain and going mountain biking and dirt biking and all that kind of stuff. And I know a ton of people who drive F one fifties because that's what they do. Mm-hmm. They use it to haul their toys. Uh, and a lot of those people are very interested in this. Uh, and also in talking to people in the general contractor circles, they're also very interested in this. Um, mostly in like, just it's, uh, everybody loves a new truck. It's kind of gross, uh, but everybody loves a new truck. And what's happening is this, uh, we're, we're finally seeing not just one ind- industry pushing a thing. Like the cyber truck is a joke. It's not a real truck. It's a gimmick mm-hmm. um, because Elon's good at gimmicks and jokes. Um, <laughs> whereas uh, this is this is a real thing. Um, Chevy also has an electric pickup coming out, but um, this one, um, like like you already said, like the F series is, uh, the best selling pickup truck has been the best selling pickup truck is one of the most sold vehicles in the United States. Um, outclassing other types of vehicles time and time again, exponentially. So for there to be an electric F-150 is a big deal. 
in that um, when Ford makes a change, people, they don't even think about it. They just follow suit. So like uh, Ford started making um, all aluminum F-150s um, five or six years ago, I think. I actually went to the Ford factory to mm. see the, uh, the truck line after they had just refitted it. Um, to produce all aluminum body F-150s. And there was a bunch of grumpy old dudes who were like, man, you'll never take my steel truck away from me. <laughs> they stopped talking and they all bought trucks uh, because that's what these people do. Um, so if they walk into a Ford dealer, there's definitely gonna be a lot of people who buy these trucks and don't even realize it's electric. That's kind of the cloud that the F-150 has. Um, and there's also going to be fleets where people are going to replace their fleets, which is really like, that's where the money is. The, yeah. the fleet purchase of the F-150 is what drives those numbers. So um, they're going to get deals. They're going to get subsidies. They can, they will be able to buy an F-150. No one is going to buy a fleet of Cybertrucks. They will buy a fleet of fully electric Silverados. Yeah. Um, and that'll be where like the real innovation happens. And then while that's happening, I'm also seeing now when I go to a job site, it's far more common to see uh, mobile rented electric car chargers, um, partially for the people who are not necessarily the general contractors, but also you're going to have architects and all these other people who need to go to a construction site that doesn't have facility electrical built in yet. Um, and so there's versions of this where a semi, like a 53 foot semi rolls up, drops off a bunch of giant packages of batteries, and then they switch them out every few days, which is huh. hilarious and super inefficient, but we haven't figured that out yet. Um, and then there's also modular temporary solar structures doing the same thing, kind of like what Tesla is doing in the middle of nowhere where they can, they're not superchargers. Um, they don't, they don't charge that quickly, but they'll still charge your car. So like with that stuff available and with subsidies we're working with and that it's no longer, I mean, it was just a few years ago, right? That people were like, well, I don't know if this electric car thing is going to work out. And now it's like, oh no, yeah, electric cars are the future. Yeah, you see enough Teslas on the road and bolts and volts and and, and whatnot. We, we've been stepped into it with the whole hybrid thing over the last, what, 10 years or so? Uh, mm -hmm. So like, like and it's all, it's all going to be stepping into it, stepping into it. And the capacity and the and you know and everything like that is going to grow with it. You know, they'll, they'll yeah. solve the problems as we go, as we mm -hmm. discover the new problems and the new uses. Yep, and all of that combined with the fact that the general contractor you think of today is younger. It's mm -hmm. a whole new generation of contractors. It's mm -hmm. contractors who grew up in a fully digital ecosystem. When I when I go on onto a job site, your average dude is carrying technology on them, your average worker. Um, they're carrying technology on them. They are using lasers to measure things. They have yep. their laser has Bluetooth connectivity to their iPad. They're checking drawings without actually using a tape measure and it's all happening automatically. And all of that is going up to plan grid. So then there's a project manager somewhere or a super walking around the site who's seeing all this data come in from everyone on their crew and it's fully automated. And now you have people who it's they're super green it's their first day on the job and that's what they're used to coming into as much as they're all starting to come into nobody like battery powered tools used to be a hard sell and now people would wouldn't have it any other way and this mm -hmm. is just another another piece of that where it's just a very natural piece of the puzzle and when the lightning dropped i started seeing all the tricklings up on all these forums and groups and and co-workers and stuff talking about it where it's not the people who are building stuff these days are not the the grumpy gas guzzlers necessarily. Uh, the people who are building the future are the people who want electric trucks.